quick, let's start with Kevin Lankinen. First shout out with the team, of course. What can you say about him and his performance? Well, I just keep saying it. I mean, tra uh, since training camp when we acquired him, he's, you know, he's played really good hockey for us. Uh, you know, obviously he was great tonight. Flyers had a bunch of chances, could have got back in the game, and he held the fort. So, um, you know, to win back-to-back -back games, um, to put the efforts that he is in for us, it's, uh, it's, it's big for us. It looked like the team was just playing some fun hockey today. Did you see a full 60 minutes from them? Yeah, no, I, I liked a lot of parts of our game. You know, we're still learning. I, you know, puck management still. I mean, you know, we gave them some opportunities to get back in the game, but I think for the most part, we had some opportunities. We had a lot of odd man rushes. We couldn't convert. I think we have to work on that stuff. But yeah, listen, three nothing game, team effort. I, you know, you, you take the win and move on, and, and you know, obviously keep improving on certain areas. Two, two years ago, I, I don't know that Tyler Myers would have thought he would be in this position where he feels so good about his game, so good about the team. How much is? What have you seen in him from the time that you took over to? to <coughs> Yeah, I didn't know Mizey that well when I took over as head coach and, and footy and, and Gonch, and uh, we saw a lot of potential. Um, you know, I think he just needed structure in his game, and um, he's a guy that always wants to get better every day. I mean, I, I don't think he's had ever had a, an off practice in the sense of work. He works hard, so hard. Um, he's, a, he's a pleasure to coach. Obviously, he's a great team guy in the room, um, and he's really – Played a lot of good hockey for me since I've been a head coach, so I got to give him a lot of credit. We talk about you know glue guys, and you know that's harder maybe to define than what they do on the ice. But how how important is he to your group and your culture? Well, he's a voice of reason. You know, um, he plays off how I am, like in the room. If uh, you know he's good at cleaning up, if you know if I get upset at the team, he's a good guy to when I leave to, you know, keep the guys together um, or vice versa. He, he's, you know, he's just, he knows what we want as coaches. And, um, you know, I just feel that he, he helps us out as a, you know, almost like as a coach because he, you know, he's an older guy. Guys respect him. And, uh, you know, like, like I said, that's a hell of a feat, a thousand games. Has Kevin Lankin and earned the next start now, the way he's playing? Well, it's still three days away, so <laughs> we'll see. I mean, he's playing great. You know, I got to play the guy. He's been unreal. Um, I like his uh, composure. Actually, he, he's good at coming up and stopping pucks. That's a, a, a big factor for us. JT, sorry, JT didn't take a lot of face-offs after the opening one. Anything? Yeah, he he's dealing with some stuff. We'll we'll uh, we'll f figure out in the next couple of days. But yeah, I didn't want him. To, we didn't want him to take draws. So still played well for us even when he didn't take draws. Draws. Do you expect he's okay for Tuesday? Uh, I, I expect it, but you never know. I, I'll, I'll see how it is. Um, you know, he'll probably get couple days off here to, to rest it and see where it goes. How, how do you think Besser did in the circle in his stead? He, he won his first three and then... I think he got cocky and then, uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, he thought he was Bergeron or something. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's a, listen, uh, you know, you're going to have to go through those situations and, um, you know, I think Jake took a couple. With, uh, with Kevin in particular, you've gone and swapped starts until tonight and then he gives you a shutout. Are you at a point where you may have to consider riding a hot hand here? Oh yeah, I mean, listen, you know, uh, you know, we got good goaltending here. It's, it's still early, and um, you know, he's put some, he's put three good games for it together, um, and um, he, he just looks really solid. Even when we were panicking, I shouldn't say we were panicking, but even when we were running around a little bit, you know, he, he was in his net. He looked, he looked big in his net, like he wasn't flip flip flopping all over the, you know, he was just really steady. Given the, the context of your goaltending and, and you know, I think it's fair to say disappointment that with Thatcher that it, it's taken him as long as it has, how how big a factor has Lankinen been for you? I mean, it's, it's a huge acquisition by Patrick. I mean, uh, to grab him um, out of nowhere, you know, like, uh, is huge. I mean... I mean, I don't know how many games. He played two exhibition games, I think, I think, and what's he got three games in it right now? And he's, I don't think he's had a bad start. Like he's, been, he's been a factor in every game. Thank you, Brett. Oh, so go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. DeHarnay and Brandstrom tonight looked like they played a pretty composed game for you. Yeah. Um, is there something there in terms of maybe if DeHarnay's with a guy who moves the puck a little better, like yeah. complimentary, almost like a defensive version of what you've had with uh, Joshua Garland? Yeah, you got to look <laughs> at that. No, 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 that's a good point. I, I thought they played really well. The, you know, 
we want, and I said, you know, me and Freddie talked before the game, I said, we got to get them some, some, some ice time, get them out there, you know, it's, um, and I thought we got them out there at the right time, I don't know how much they played, but uh, they played more than the other night, um, and they fed off each other, um, and yeah, could be a good pair for us.